Well, it's been an exciting week in sports, and for all the highlights, we turn to Sunny Young with the Sunny Side of Sports. Hey, Sunny. Sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. Let's kick off with the FIFA Women's World Cup Football Tournament, which officially opens this weekend in Germany. And joining us now for some pre-competition analysis is sporty VOA intern Nicholas Baral. Nicholas, welcome to the sunny side of sports. Thank you, Sonny. Thanks for having me. Who are the top teams in Germany, Nicholas? Well, Germany is the host, and you got to look at them. They are the two-time defending World Cup champions, and they did not concede a single goal mm. in the 2007 World Cup. You look at the United States, they're a very young team, but their history is rich. They've won two World Cups in the past. And you got to look for them to always be a competitor. The USA. The USA. <laughs> finally, you go to England. England has a young team as well, but their coach has spunk. And they're finally playing well. They didn't lose a match in qualifying. And England is on the upside right now. What about the African teams in Germany? We well, start off with Equatorial Guinea making their very first appearance in the Women's World Cup. Their coach has gone as far to compare them to the Brazilian men's team uh -oh. because of the star <laughs> power of the players on this team. So it's big shoes to fill, so we'll see if Equatorial Guinea can come through. The Nigerian women have always been present in the Women's World Cup. They have not missed the World Cup. Super Falcons. The Super Falcons have only reached the quarterfinal round, and their captain, Perpetua and Quocha, will look for them to reach the next round after that. Nicholas, you mentioned Perpetua from Nigeria. Who are some of the other top players we'll be seeing in Germany? Well, the Brazilian striker, Marta, has been a name that has been around for many years in women's soccer. She is the five-time reigning FIFA World Player of the Year and led the Brazilians and the whole World Cup in gold in the last World Cup. Brazil finished second, so they'll look to do better this time around. Brigitte Prinza from Germany, the striker, is also a great player in this World Cup. She led the Germans with five goals to their second consecutive World Cup last time. Mm. You turn to the United States and you have Abby Wambach, the striker who had led the United States in goals last time and will look to do so this time. And then Christy Rampone, the lone remainder from the 1999 Women's World Cup team that won the title, she look to have her experience and her leadership lead this team. And Nicholas, we can watch these matches on television? Anywhere in the world, Sonny. These broadcast on cable TV in every nation. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you very much, Sonny. I'm VOA's Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Well, thanks, Sonny. Nicholas is catching up fast, and that's our show today. Thank you so much for joining us throughout the week. Have a safe, wonderful weekend. See you Monday. Good night.